Hi, this is Prakash from 60 Seconds. So today we'll look at a question from CAT 2005, and we'll see how we can solve it very easily using options. So the question goes like this: So x equals root of 4 plus root of 4 minus root of 4 plus root of minus. We have alternate plus and minus signs, and we have to find this value will be equal to which of these four options. So we will solve this question using options. If we try to solve it using algebraic expression by taking the root this side, so we will get x square equals something. I mean the best way to represent it algebraically will be to take square of both sides. So we will get x square equals 4 plus root of 4 minus root of 4 plus and so on. So here I will take x square minus 4 equals again square root of 4 minus this 4 plus here onwards the expression repeats itself so I can say it is 4 minus x again I will take square I will get x square minus 4 equals 4 minus x and this will become x square minus 4 whole square now if I try to solve this this will become quite cumbersome because I will get a power of x to the power 4 which will be quite difficult to solve. Instead of that what we will do is we will solve it using options. Okay. So now let me see what can be the maximum or minimum value of this expression or the maximum or minimum value of x minimum and maximum value. Now for minimum value what I will do is see here I have 4 plus something so this all this part is definitely a positive value so I will ignore all this positive value so I will take only this 4 and this all this part from here onwards I will ignore so that will give me only 4 and I will have square root of 4 so which will give me 2 so the minimum value of this expression can be 2 it cannot be less than 2 because I have 4 plus something so the square root of that will be 2 2 point something or more than 2. So the minimum value of this expression can be 2 and to find the maximum value what I will do is I will take only this part. I will take only till this 4. Only till this 4. So what happens? I am subtracting something from there. So if I am subtracting something obviously the value will reduce. So I am trying to take the maximum value. So I will consider only this only till this 4. So I will get 4 plus root square root of 4 which is 2. So I will get 4 plus 2, 6. And finally I will get square root of 6. So the maximum value will be square root of 6. So for the minimum value I am considering only this 4. And for the maximum value I am considering this 4 as well as this 4. I hope this part is clear and this is the most important part. Now. What is the approximate value of square root of 6? I know 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. So it lies between 2 and 3. Let me try to get a more exact value. If I take 2.4, 2.4 square gives me 5.76 and 2.5 square gives me 6.25. 6 lies somewhere in between so mostly my value will be in between of this so it should be approximately 2.45 so I can say maximum value will be around 2.45 I need not know the exact value but the maximum value can be around 2.45 so my value of x will lie between 2 and 2.45 that I have been able to derive now let me look at the options I know 3 cannot be my answer because my answer should lie between 2 and 2.45. Let me look at the last option. Square root of 13. So 3 square is 9. It is definitely greater than 3. It lies between 3 and 4. Square root of 13 will lie between 3 and 4. Cannot be my answer. So this is out. Now let me look at option number 2. If I look at option number 2, square root of 13 will lie somewhere between 3 and 4. Even if I take the maximum value of square root of 13 as say 4 even if I assume it to be 4 it will be 4 minus 1 3 by 2 that will give me 
so this option number 2 has to be less than 1.5 definitely cannot be my answer because my answer must lie between 2 and 2.45 but here I am getting a value which is less than 1.5 cannot be my answer so my answer can only be third option and if I evaluate third option square root of 13 even if I take the minimum value of square root of 13 which is 3 3 square is 9 if I take it as 3 it will be 3 point something if I take it as 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 by 2 is 2 so I will get a value which is greater than 2 I will get a value which is greater than 2 and that is the kind of value I am looking for so my answer has to be option number 3 so if you look at this question looks like a difficult question if you try to solve it using the standard algebraic approach the question will become quite difficult so if you use options here it becomes much simpler so i hope the solution is clear if you have any questions please post them below and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible thank you